The world of agriculture is constantly growing in more ways than one. To stay on top in the farming world, you need the most up-to-date machinery. With that said, let's take a look at some of the most amazing modern agriculture machines that are on another level. Mahdi Pumpkin Seed Harvesting We're a little way off Halloween yet, but it's never too early to watch pumpkin seed harvesting in action. These machines from Mahdi specialize in the harvesting of pumpkin seeds. Not the pumpkin, just the seeds. In these fields, the only produce being grown are seed pumpkins. Pumpkins that are valued for the weight and quality of their seeds more than their flesh. As you can see, pumpkins are lined up into rows by a specialist Rolmax pumpkin plow. The machine has two rollers, one of which presses the pumpkin weed to the ground to separate the fruit, and another which gently rolls the pumpkin into position. Then it's time to bring in the aptly named Pumpkin Pickup, a hydraulically driven wheel with specially designed spikes that puncture and pick up every pumpkin without destroying the integrity of the fruit. Once at the top of the wheel, the pumpkins are rolled into the crushing ledges to break the flesh without damaging the seeds. Seeds are then separated using a screening drum and the flesh is fired back out onto the field using an equal distribution plate, which ensures an even spread of the flesh so it rots well and provides better compost for the vegetables next grown in the field. Move over, pumpkin. Pumpkin spice lattes, it's time for pumpkin spike lattes. Agribot Strawberry Harvester It's not Skynet we need to be worried about in the future, it's Strawberry Net. This is the Agribot E-Series, an autonomous robotic strawberry harvester that relies on cutting-edge graphic processing to determine fruit ripeness. As you can see, each of the 24 robotic arms has a high-tech camera attached to it. These cameras scan the sides of the plants for the color and shape of a ripe strawberry. The robotic arm, which appears to contain both a blade and gripping mechanism, snip the strawberry stem and transport it to the collection point without ever touching the fruit. It can be used on outdoor and indoor harvest, day or night, thanks to its inbuilt lighting system. This means just one machine can harvest 20 acres of land in about three days. Unsurprisingly, very little about the high-tech core processing mechanics of this futuristic machine has been released. That's because it's been funded by strawberry growers around the world, who clearly want an edge on the competition in the future of agriculture. An interview with the machine's creator, Juan Bravo, revealed he had been developing the system for over a decade. You could say that the time is ripe. Argyle's FHT4 Usually, melons and watermelons are picked and loaded up by hand, but there's a smarter way to harvest these heavy fruits. This is the FHT4 machine developed by Argyles. It's a towed machine dragged behind a tractor to assist melon pickers in packing up the huge fruit. The arm extends out to a standard length of 57 feet and offers a series of rubberized bowls rotating around an incline conveyor belt. As the full bowls reach their designated draw point, the handle that keeps the bowl upright under the balustrade is released, so at a specific incline the fruit easily drops out. You can see the bowls bending as they gently drop each melon to prevent bruising and maintain a high fruit quality. Melons can then be carefully stacked into waiting transport without pickers having to hand deliver each melon to the truck, and at a full capacity it can deliver 90 melons per minute. I don't know about you, but after watching this, I'm feeling a lot less melancholy. Boss Lead Corn Picker The Boss Lead Picker and Harvester is a perfect agriculture machine for smaller farmers and producers. As smaller machines don't have the capacity or power to warn an unloader, this unique design replaces the unloader's chute with a small conveyor belt. This keeps the harvesting and picking of corn and maize at a rate of up to 1.5 acres per hour, whilst maintaining a product loss rate of less than 2%. The pickers snap the corn or maize ears from the stalk so that only grain and cobs are harvested. The stalks are guided by the four snouts into a series of counter-rotating rollers which tear the husks away. The husks are then fed onto a conveyor belt which lifts them into a storage hopper. Once full, the hydraulic mounted bucket can pour into a waiting truck and the process begins again. Amazing. Ordomec Series 9000 The Italian innovators at Ordomec have really stepped up the leafy vegetable harvesting game. Their self-propelled harvester known as the 9000 Fogalia is an ingenious yet relatively simple design. Where manual work would force workers to crouch and collect bushels of the leaves by hand, 
This motorized conveyor uses a small saw at the base of its belt to remove the leaf from its stem as the whole machine is propelled forward, pushing the then separated leaves onto the incline of the conveyor belt. The belt then delivers the leaves to produce packers on top who slide boxes underneath the tail of the belt and effortlessly fill their boxes with fresh produce in half the time it would normally take them. Does this make salad cool now? Ordermac Series 8200. But Ordermac doesn't just stop at baby leaf harvesting. Using a similar design with their 8200 Latuga machines, Ordermac introduced a durable, oscillating saw head at the base of the machine's conveyor belt. It's designed specifically to sever the stems of heads of lettuce and other vegetables above root level. As you can see, the quick movements of the blade cuts the stem of the lettuce, and the gradual propulsion of the machine brings the rows of heads of lettuce up onto the conveyor belt. Powered by a four-cylinder diesel motor, this machine can harvest up to three miles of produce per hour. As it turns out, there's no such thing as too much head. Schluter Facilitador from just looking at this giant machine, could you guess what it does? Do you give up? This is the Schluter Facilitador, or in English, the Facilitator. It's designed as an alternative movement device for laborers and orchids having to use and move ladders to reach fruits in the trees. Each of the baskets is big enough to fit one picker in it, and they can control the height of their basket using pedals located at their feet. This way, they're saving precious time by using their hands only for picking instead of relocating. It also comes with an anti-collision system so workers don't run the risk of accidentally bashing into one another. As the picker hauls in fruit, they can dump it into a collection point at the basket's front, which contains a conveyor belt. This this transports all the fruit into one central storage bin that can be emptied in large bags ready for collection, without the workers having to stop at any point. Forget the new iPhone, this is the next Apple product I want. Oxbow Grape Harvester You can't change the game without shaking things up, and that's just what the Oxbow 6220 Wine Grape Harvester does. This incredible arching machine doesn't use a single blade to remove the grapes from their vines. How is that possible? Just take a look at the bottom of the chassis. Those rubberized mats gently shake the trunk of the vine, while bow rod heads on the inside also shake the canopy. Grapes on the vines are shaken loose and the incline of the mats direct the grapes down into a bucket conveyor. Once in the internal structure of the machine, grapes are cleaned by having leaves removed via the Oxbow's fan system. Grape clusters are then fed into a destemmer, where their connective branches are removed before being passed through modular belting that separates any remaining debris from the grapes. These are then transported to an over-the-row conveyor and into a waiting hopper. Despite such incredible machinery being available worldwide, traditional methods of wine grape harvesting by hand are still used to this day. In some cases, old vines are spaced too close together for tractors to reach, but in places like Champagne, France, it's against the law to use machinery for grape harvesting. That's a Merlot blow. John Deere DB120. I wouldn't be doing this video justice if I didn't mention John Deere. What you're looking at here is the biggest agricultural planner in the world the John Deere DB120. This planter measures in at 120 feet, with 48 separate rows 30 inches apart. The seed hoppers on each of these individual rows feed seeds into a disc belt, which spaces individual seeds out before pushing them into a downwards rotating brush belt. The seeds then pass a sensor to check the rate of planting before being dropped into the trench created by the base of the planter. The sloping wheels at the bottom then channel earth over the top of the trench to cover the evenly spaced seeds back up. The DB120 is estimated to be capable of sowing around 100 acres of land per hour, which is roughly 76 football fields. And if that's not impressive enough, it's the only machine on this list with its own Wikipedia entry. With prices for this machine starting at 345 grand, that's what you call a big deal. Wolfbind Loader AN70. You all know hops are an essential ingredient in making beer, but do you have any idea how they're harvested? This is the Wolf Hop Bind Loader. Yes, you heard that right. Bind, not vine. Unlike vines, vines climb up structures by wrapping their stems around what they're growing on. On farms like these, high strength string is hooked from wires above which the hops are then able to wind themselves around. Then it comes time for the harvest. As you can see, the hop strings are fed into a specially designed loading device. 
Two chains draw the string to a cutting head attached to the side while being held in a deflection bar which grips the bind tight after it's cut. Then the tractor it's now attached to pulls the bind loose from the hooks at the top of the wire. The whole process is designed so that the bind is tugged loose from the top before being released at the bottom, resulting in a pile of ready to work binds. Does this technically make beer kind of salad? Vegetable Bed Flamer However hot you think you are when you're in bed, you'll never measure up to this bed flamer. Vegetable bed flamers are essentially propane tanks attached to nozzles on large toolbars. When lit, these torches graze the ground and sterilize a preceded soil bed without using any kind of pesticide or herbicide. By using propane, the burn is clean, meaning there's no residue, runoff, or contamination of the crops. Row crop flamers like this model from Red Dragon use four to seven gallons of propane per acre, so the applications only cost about half of what herbicides would in a normal year. I always wondered how they grew popcorn. Which of these machines did you find most amazing? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.